Hey Cancer, it's Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to do your guys' weekly reading for the week of the 31st to June 6th. Okay, it's going to be just a general slash love reading. I mostly focus it on love, but take what resonates. Okay, if you're not seeing anybody or interested in love, just watch for your loved ones or friends or whatever. So, take what resonates. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, I'm going to do past, present, and then the current week. So what I'm going to do is start with the past. So it could be anywhere from, you know, May or a recent past. What's currently going on up until before this week. And then also the current, uh, after the currently, I'm going to do the past. Uh, well, I can't talk. The future. So that's going to be this coming week. So just watch for whatever. Um, like I said, the past is going to be anywhere from like May or like weeks before. Currently it's going to be what's going on leading to that week. And then the future, near future is going to be that week. Okay. Um, like I said, watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or cross watch. Okay, so, ah, my, my cards don't want to work. Um, but yeah, so I would appreciate if you guys like and subscribe. Okay, let me know down below if you like the reading. I'm um, sorry if I do have some noise in the background. It's just my son on his tablet. Okay, and then I got incense burning if you see smoke. So, okay, let's go ahead and get one more shuffle for cancer. I'm going to do a six card spread. And then at the end, I'm going to do oracle cards for you guys to clarify your reading. Okay. So go ahead and get six cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We got the Temperance. You guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius in the past. Okay. Seven of Swords. The Fool. Okay. The Sun. Knight of Wands reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Overall energy in the past. We have the Hangman. So you're very stuck about somebody here. Okay, not really seeing a better perspective. Could have been dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. <laughs> a lot of fire. Um, but it's basically a situation where you don't really trust this person, but they bring you a lot of happiness. You have a new beginning with them. Okay, they could be younger than you, if not, you know. Um, but you just don't trust them. You feel like they're kind of not being honest about something. But I feel like you guys weren't indecisive. You were in this person's energy for a while. It wasn't back and forth. But it was very passionate, though. But you had a very passionate energy maybe this person made you feel level and contained and calm okay but I feel like you didn't really offer much to this person or there wasn't really an offering happening okay or nothing was really started you guys were just kind of not really even in a relationship you guys were kind of just enjoying each other's company kind of just going with it and just seeing where it was I don't really feel like it had potential yet to be a relationship or you know so see why is temperance here for cancer in the past all right, the strength in reverse. Okay, maybe this relationship kind of tested you a little bit. Or this person helped you. Maybe you're going through, you had a lot of insecurities, and this person kind of helped you overcome that. Making you feel more centered. Okay, seven of wands, chariot reverse. But you're kind of resistant towards this person. You're afraid to move forward with this person. Maybe you just kind of lack self-esteem. And it's like you're afraid to move forward with this person. Okay, there's still some things in your life going on when you met this person where you were just stuck. Where you couldn't move forward, okay? Not feeling like you could move on from something. Why is Seven of Swords here reverse? Seven of Swords here, sorry. Ten of Cups reverse the temperance. Okay, maybe you don't, like, trust this person's intentions. Maybe you feel like, you know, like, yeah, they are very calm, you know, very calm, youthful energy. But maybe... You don't trust, like, what they say to you. Maybe they told you that they want to have a family with you or have kids or be married. And it's like you just don't really trust them. You feel like they're kind of, like, saying that to say it. We're not being honest about what all they want, you know. Sorry, guys. I had to have a coffee break. Why is the fool here? Like I said, you could be dealing with somebody younger. And, like, they talk like it's all fun and games having a family. But they don't really know if they want one, you know. The Fool here. Alright, the Magician reversed the Six of Wands. Okay, so this person or like the situation is like, maybe you feel like they aren't really manifesting this connection. They're kind of go with the flow. They like to be seen by a lot of people. And they like, they're very attractive and they like to be seen by a lot of people. So they're not really putting a whole lot of attention onto you or manifesting this connection. They're kind of going, kind of flighty, kind of um, back and forth. Okay. Why is the sun here? Alright, seven of swords. But there's something you don't trust about this person. Like, you feel like they play games or they are not being honest. 
with the emperor okay but you do take action you really are you know passionate towards this person two of wands reverse but it's like you in the ace of pentacles reverse it's like there's something blocking you to move forward with this person like you want to take action but there's a reason why things aren't starting yet or you feel like you, you can't go down this road yet with this person and choose this direction even though they make you happy and you have a lot of desire for this person there's still like some trust issues or something that is making it where you're blocked from starting a new beginning with them or something more long term and serious okay knight of wands reverse king of wands like i said you're very attracted to this person okay king of pentacles you want i think you want to have long-term stability with this person but you don't trust them like you feel like they're kind of flighty or go with the flow Okay, the Empress. You could feel like they're just too good for you, or they get like a lot of they get a lot of attention from male people. Okay, a lot of people want to be with them because they're like one of the best. You know, maybe just don't feel like you're desirable enough for this person. Like you don't feel like you're good enough. Okay, gender. If you're a male or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, because then we have the Page of Pentacles reverse. So it's like you're still not really offering something to this person. The Empress, yeah, and the Queen of Wands reversed. Maybe you feel like defeated, like you just don't feel like you're good enough for this person. You feel like this person is like way out of your league. But you have a lot of passion for them, you're really attracted to them. Okay, I feel like you want to give them long-term stability. But maybe you feel like, also you feel like they're not really giving you something either. Because it's like you're trying, but it's like Page of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. Maybe they're not really putting a whole lot of energy into this. Or they're kind of giving up, they're kind of giving you like a nice loving energy, but they're not really giving you something stable or... Feeling like it's long term. Okay, Three of Pentacles. Not that I feel like it's a third party, but it might just be that they entertain other people as well. And not really, because then we have the Seven of Cups reverse. So there's just a sense of wanting to work together and make this work. Okay, and it's, but it's like you're finding out in the past like a lot more truths or how you feel internally with this person. Okay. So it could be done with Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Libra. A lot of fire here aries gemini sagittarius and cancer all right let's go ahead and get five shuffles and see what's currently going on with you and this person but in the past it was like you really wanted to be with this person but you just didn't trust it like you felt like they had other options or they weren't being completely honest it's like they were kind of lying or like deceiving you in some way all right let's get two more shuffles for cancer currently with this person or situation currently going on King of Wands again you're very attracted to this person very drawn to them Ten of Swords reversed okay the moon reversed Devil reversed High Priestess okay the Tower reversed and we have the King of Pentacles reversed here overall we have the Hangman again you guys are stuck Page of Cups reverse, whether or not you should offer your love to this person. Okay, you're so, you guys are just, I feel like you guys are dealing with the same situation. Okay, so we have um, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be that sign. Still really drawn to this person, but there's feeling like you need to let something go here. Just like move on from whatever was said or something. I feel like you're finding out more truths and it's like you're trying to move on and heal from it and not let it affect you in this connection. Because you still are really drawn to them. You're trying not to let things be, you know, hold any att toxic attachments to this person. But you're still kind of being secretive, not really talking to them. Okay? Or avoiding kind of communication, not really saying a whole lot to them. So, let's see. Why is the King of Wands here for you and this person or whatever? King of Wands. Two of Wands. It's like you're stuck. Okay? Not sure what direction to go currently. Really in your head about this. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Wondering whether or not you should put the, the attention onto this if you should put the work in. Okay, why is Ten of Swords reverse here? Not me. Ten of Swords reverse for not Cancer. Me. Three of Pentacles reverse. What, babe? Do, do you know what that is? Mm -mm. Talking. Okay. Okay, then we have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. What, buddy? What? He melted. 
No, he's okay. Okay, sorry guys. Anyways, Ten of Swords reverse with the Three of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Okay, so it's like you do want to come towards them and give them some kind of romantic gesture. Like I said, you really value this person. Okay? It's like you feel like they're like so great to you, like they're nurturing, they're caring, they're everything you've dreamed of in a person. But it's like you guys are kind of like not working together right now. We're not really seeing each other. Kind of stuck. But it's like you want to talk to them or communicate. With the moon reverse, maybe you want to express something here. The empress reverse. Maybe you want to talk to them about why things aren't going in this direction. Things aren't growing. Okay, ten of swords, five of pentacles, why they've been distant. Okay, maybe they want to talk to you about why, you know, like you've hurt them. Like why things aren't growing because you, they feel like they're betrayed by you or you laugh them out. That you're not giving the attention to them. Okay, I feel like this person's hurting you and they don't realize it. Like, this person's doing something to just make you feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. Okay, even maybe alone. This person makes you feel alone. I don't know what they're doing, but they kind of hurt you in some way. And it's like you want to tell them. Okay, maybe this person has no idea that they're even doing it to you. The devil reverse. Why is that here? Alright, the high priestess. Using your intuition. Alright, three of swords, nine of wands. You know, you feel like you're hurt by a situation. This person's hurting you. Okay, I don't know what this person's done, but it's like, you know, it's like you want to talk to them about why they're hurting you, but you're afraid to confess or talk about it. I don't know. Why is High Priestess here? Alright, the strength and the six of swords. It's like you're trying to, like, move on from whatever happened, trying to get more strength here. Your intuition's telling you, you know, you're going to need to move on from whatever happened, you know, whatever was said or done. Just move on from it, you know, heal. All right, with the tower reversed. Five of swords. So you're f avoiding talking to them because you're afraid, like, if you put in the work that it's not going to be honest, that they're going to be so lying or keeping things from you. I don't know, I feel like you just don't trust this person. Like, they hurt you. It's like you want to come towards them and talk to them. Okay? You see them in a really good way. You see them as a queen of pentacles. That they're really stable, hardworking, motherly. Maybe they do have a child. Okay? Or they're just in a really feminine energy. If they're not a woman, they're just very feminine. They're very caring, nurturing. But they, this person hurts you. And I don't even think they know it. The queen of wands. You could feel like, like I said, they have other options. Okay? They're really attractive. A lot of people want them. With the Ace of Swords. I feel like you just want clarity on the situation. You're waiting on some kind of clarity. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Because I feel like you don't want to be separated from this person. But you need to kind of know what their intentions are. Like what is this person actually wanting with me? You know. Am I just wasting my time? Being hurt for no reason. we got Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Okay. So let's go ahead and see... What's going on here in the next week with you and this person? Okay, five shuffles. What's going on? Cancer. Two more shuffles. Alright, what's going on Cancer this coming week with you and this person? Knight of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords. Okay, Nine of Wands, Two of Cups reverse, Six of Wands reverse. I feel like you guys are going to get like this realization that you want. Overall, we do have the death. So, I don't know. I feel like you're wanting to put an end to something here. I don't know. I feel like you're just not, you're just too hurt by whatever happened. You don't really know if you can move forward. Knight of Swords reversed. The world reversed. You guys have a lot of unfinished things you guys need to say to each other. Okay, Queen of Wands. Okay, but you're still really attracted to this person. I feel like if it's not an end to the situation, it's just ending whatever cycle so you guys can transform this relationship. Okay, fix it maybe. Queen of Wands, you're still really attracted to this person. You don't want to leave them. Queen of Pentacles reversed, but maybe... Like I said, in this next week, you don't feel like they're putting in the work. They're not really treating you like the way they used to. Alright, the Empress, Page of Swords, Reverse. 
You still are like spying on them. You still want to communicate. Okay, you do still see them in this Empress energy. Very attractive, motherly, nurturing. But maybe they're just not being as like stable with you, you know. But I feel like you still spy on them. You still want to talk to them. Ace of Swords. Why is that here? Ace of Swords. The Justice. You want, yeah. The Two of Wands here. You're waiting on some kind of talk, communication with this person. So you guys can get to the same page. But it's like you're not sure like what you should do after you get this communication. Okay? After you guys get on a more stable path, you're not really sure where to go after that. If you guys should wait around for this person. If you should choose them. All right, nine, nine of Wands. I feel like you guys have just been through a lot with this connection. It's just been a lot of back and forth, not sure. Nine of Wands. The Fool in Reverse. You're kind of not sure if you should take any chance on this or not. All right, Nine of Wands, Fool Reversed. Five of Wands Reversed and the Eight of Wands. You do want to communicate with this person, okay? But you don't want there to be any conflict or drama. You guys want to be on a more stable you know, you guys really want to communicate and just be logical, not, you know, say anything argumentative, anything that's mean. I feel like you guys want to just get, you know, truth. Two of Cups reversed. Okay, the Hermit reversed. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you come to realization that like, this is your person, but you guys need to fix this connection. Or you don't feel like the love is mutual between you guys, and this is what you want. You really want this person. Do you know what that is? Chucky. How? <laughs> but you guys really want this. You're really hoping for this future with this person. Okay, you feel this is your person that's meant to be your person here. But you guys need to fix this connection. Six of Wands reversed. How does that Just is. Sorry. Chariot reversed. Okay, something's not successful here. Page of Cups. Three of Cups reversed. Chariot reversed. Okay, so it's like you guys are willing to put in some kind of, you know, apology or communicate here. Kind of make some love gesture. Because you guys realize that things aren't moving forward unless you do that. Things aren't successful. Three of Cups reversed. Maybe also leaving a third party influence out of it. This is about like you and this person. Or not wanting this person to see other people. Okay, maybe you guys are really wanting this person to just be with you. If there was a third party influence, it was like maybe this person was seeing other people. Being kind of friendly and kind of seeing other people behind your back. And it's like you're wanting them to put an end to that. You don't want this person to see other people because you guys can't move forward. Because you don't want that person to do that. What is that? Chucky. Alright, so. I don't know, Brayden. He's, I guess, melted. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, you guys can be dealing with a fire sign for sure. We have um, Libra, Taurus, Libra, Cancer. Virgo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards for you guys and see what else, and then I'll clarify those. So, Cancer, let's see you and this person. Okay. Alright, so we have Joy and Stability on the bottom. We have Well-Deserved um, Reward in the Reverse. As well as open up. Okay, so you guys need to communicate about this connection. Alright, one second, guys. I gotta take him to the restroom. Here, come on, hurry up, buddy. I have limited time to do video today. Hey, sorry guys, it's like he's, he gets afraid to go to the bathroom by himself, so I just have to stand there and make sure he's okay. So anyways, you guys have Rose Deserved Reward Reverse, open up. Let's see what else you guys have. Alright, so we have Walk Your Own Journey, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, all this incense dust is making me sneeze. All right, then we have all this at your fingertips. Okay, so if you want this person, it's like right within you. All right, you are unlimited. Okay, 
So you can do whatever. I want always wanted a okay. shake. Okay, just calm down. Sorry, guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what else is going on for cancer in this person. Express your love, okay? Open up, express your love. Okay, calling in your soulmate reverse. So this could be your soulmate, okay? You've already had this person in your energy. Healing family issues reverse. Brayden, you're being rude. Here. All right, healing family issues reverse. Okay, so you guys are maybe already overcoming family issues. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. Well-deserved reward reverse. Why is that here? Well-deserved reward reverse for cancer in this person. Okay, the hair fit, okay? So you guys do want, you know, commitment with this person, but you feel like things are kind of stagnant. Okay, you're really wanting to have this relationship. The devil reversed and this um, with the fortune, nine of pentacles reversed. Okay, maybe now you guys feel the timing's right to be in this connection. Open up. Okay, two of wands reversed and the two of swords reversed. You realize that you want to be with this person. You want to go down this path and be with them, choose them. So you need to open up and really work on it. Okay, walk your own journey. Three of swords reverse, high priestess reverse. Okay, it's like you're needing to like heal from something and use your intuitions. Your intuition's blocked about a situation. All right, all is at your fingertips. All is at your fingertips. Okay, eight of swords, but you're stuck, not sure what to do. Two of Pentacles reverse, three of Wands reverse. You guys feel kind of stuck, not sure what to do with the situation. Okay. Express your love here. Okay, Five of Cups. All right. So tell them like how you feel that you're sad about whatever happened in the past. Open up. Five of Swords. Okay. Be more honest with this person. Calling in your soulmate. Six of Pentacles, a person that you're giving your energy to. Okay, and the Judgment. All right. So I feel like you guys definitely need to just open up. Tell this person how you feel. Okay. Work on this connection. I feel like you guys could have something really good with this person. But you guys need to open up. All right. Let's go ahead and see signs you guys could be dealing with. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some signs you guys could be dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Okay. So you guys could be dealing with any of these signs here. Alright, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.